come on in, pull up a chair, because I've got a couple tall tales about monsters to tell you. Only shooting stars break the mold. Hello everybody and welcome to Brawl Stars. I'm Amy the Amazonian and today I'm playing once again Volo Guide to Monsters. This is actually the first of my rebooted Brawl Stars videos, but the deck has changed quite a bit since then and so has the Brawl meta. So. What does Volo do? Volo copies original and unique creatures. So if you have Volo out on the battlefield and you cast, let's say, a snake creature and you have no other snakes on the battlefield or in your graveyard, well, fan frickin' tastic you're gonna get two of those snakes! And there's a little bit of hot tech in this called making clones of Volo too. There's only one easy way to make clones of Volo in Arena. There's two total ways, I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, and that would be using something like, hmm, oh, I don't know, Spark Double. Mm hmm. Having these nice non legendary clones, which you can then clone again and clone again, means that you're going to get double and double and double the Volo, and double the Volo means double the fun. So over here, you can see we have Ramp early on, a little bit of graveyard removal in the form of things like Uro. And lots of great enter the battlefields that are just so strong when you're doubling them with something like Volo. There's also another interesting thing about my build of Volo that I think more people should do, which is this is a mutate deck. That's right, we're mutantating. Uh, I've got baby Godzilla at the low end to enable my mutators, and then lots of the mutating creatures themselves, because when you mutate on the stack, you end up with multiple things mutating and triggering their own mutate triggers. It's very cool, hopefully you'll see it in action, because we're gonna hop into the queue and take Volo for a spin. Oh, looks like the uh, game is considering us a real threat, because I matched up against Sithis, Harvest Hand. This is the Enchantress commander that is herself an Enchantress, meaning she draws a card when you cast an enchantment. It's gonna be hard for me to outpace that. I don't have that much removal, but you know what I do have? Mutate. And I love mutating. A plains. An elf. Ah ha ha! A paradise druid, which you cannot touch! Oh! <gasps> paradise druid of their very own! My goodness. Um, I gotta choose here between Volo and Double Rampers. I'm gonna go Volo. YOLO! They're just gonna like banishing light him. Please don't. Please don't hurt my little Volo. He just wants to clone, um, auspicious Sterixes. Whoa, wait, I think they're gonna fight him? Yo, what? Karametra's Blessing into a Warbriar Blessing. That is a very blessed bru druid right there. Okay, sure. <laughs> Not what I was expecting, but all right. Uh, I'm gonna go for the ramp this turn. I could go for the Sawtusk Demolisher, but again, like, I want to save my mutate for mutating. For big ol' Tatoes. Chantress's Presence. Destiny Spinner, no counter spells allowed. Got it. I don't have those anyway. In fact, I took out the counter spell shark that was in this deck. And I am once again going to request that you do not hurt my sweet little Volo. Oh, he just wants to do horrible, horrible things with creatures. No, not that kind of horrible. I mean, like, make a lot of them. By, I think, exaggerating? I think that that's why he makes extras, because he exaggerates how many he has. Now, that's a great new addition to this deck, Hallowed Haunting. Hallowed Haunting is all about the number of enchantments you have, and it's going to spit out creatures whenever they cast them. So we're gonna start with the Sterix, and I wanna mutate the Sterix onto Paradise Druid. Because at least some of the time, it does have Hexproof. Now I do have a choice here. Do I wanna keep it on top or bottom? And I could have gone for the Spark Double there. Um, ooh, hey, Uro. I could have put this underneath the Paradise Druid. 
uh, in order to not have a beast on the battlefield, but I figured this is still fine. And because we're getting so many mutates, I might be able to mutate again right here. I did. Um, hmm. Okay. I think I'm gonna destroy that hallowed haunting. It's like, or the presence or a land. Now nah, let's hit the haunting. Oh my goodness, stuff is happening. I saw a great henge, which sees the Elder Gargaroth enter the battlefield and says, Oh me, oh my, oh Raspberry Pi. Hello, Crater Hoof! Now that's what I call a beautiful game of magic. And uh, I'm gonna swing in with my 11-10 Volo. Oh, and also I have a Holebreaker Horror. You know, for reasons. I've got heroic intervention just hanging out here. I could have used that to bounce the blocker, but uh, it wouldn't have been lethal. It would have been just short. And of course, I'm using the beautiful crater hoof behemoth with the cheddar hoof art. Dang, what a good turn that was. Oh, what a what a beautiful turn that was. Entering match, waiting for opponent. Let's go. Up next, it's. Frailies. I already played against a Frailies today. We'll do it again, though. I like Frailies. Okay, we have Elves versus Clones. I'll keep this. I've got some turn two ramp, and I bet their entire hand is ramp because they're elves. That's what they do. They ramp. They are ramp. They do sweet kick flips too. Uh, I'll need blue here. Incubation Druid. Cool. Bolo. Frailies does not put plus one plus one counters. Oh, but Rishkar does. That gives them another three mana here, which they can use to play Frailies and then untap their Incubation Druid for ramp. Ramp with like a capital R. Pogs must be feeling so pogs right now. Rex Sage? No, my cold steel heart! Rude. Well, at least I got dogs. You should attack me. Yes, attack me. And my definitely not at all suspicious lack of blockers. Three mana? Turning into nine mana on turn three? Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Tapping, untapping, and tapping again. We blossom with nature's magic. They even have a god on their side now. Hi, Nylia. Ooh, Soul of the Harvest. That's some good card draw, repeatable, that they can get out here. And Freilies will also be able to give them some card draw next turn with Regal Force. Sup, Twin and Elite. But worry not, friends, because I have two dogs. Attack me. Attack into my puppies. Oh my god, stop going off! At least if I do nothing on a turn, I make a bunch of 4-4s. Four ha ha ha! It's me, the dog! Two dogs. Nice. Thanks! I hope you don't have Crater Hoof. Oh! <gasps> Uh, Gargaroth, Karuga. Gargaroth gives me more board presence because the Karuga's only one of them lives. Nice. Okay, we got the Gargaroth. We got the Ambushers. We got the Volo. What do you have? I shouldn't even ask that. I'm, I'm asking for trouble. I like that they have a Nyssa avatar. They just want you to know that they really like elves. Also, they like spooky suns. I'm using the Birds of Paradise sleeve because, I don't know, it feels like Volo might write about birds in his guide. Okay. They draw eight cards. They're all being discounted if they're creatures. They still have lots of mana here. 
Okay, any of those crater hoof? Yeah, 13 cards in hand. Better use some of those bad boys up. But any creature's cast will put another card in hand. Wait, no, this is a May ability. But like, you don't usually decline these. Behold, an elf. Perhaps two elves. Perhaps seven or eight elves. Okay, Marwen. A mimic that makes more of their elves even bigger. They've got five mana still on this board. And who was that? It was Elfame Druid. Hi, Elfame Druid. That's another mana dork. gonna do? What you gonna do, Pogs? Sarah! Hey, wait. You're not an elf. You're a human. Hey! What are you doing here? Giving elves death touch? That's gross. Oh, wait. You untap the super duper ultra mega rampers. Nice tech, Pogs. I wouldn't have thought of that one. But you're gonna have to discard a lot here. It appears to be an Elvish War Master revealed. Hello there, Elvish War Master. And they have 13 cards in hand, which means they have to discard a whole bundle of them. Six, to be exact. There is no Reliquary Tower out here. Waiting. Terrifying. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go for the old Karuga. We will get double Karuga. Let's see what we got here. That's some great cards. Unfortunately, I can't play any of them this turn. So, uh, I am going to swing in with the Gargaroths, and that is to, uh, build my board out wider. They can take easy trades in this, like, they do have a Nylia out here. This is mostly for my sake. Okay, trade that for a 1-1. One, one. We have to discard five cards. Okay, uh, let's go with Angras. Mirror Hall Mimic. Is there anything I want to steal out here? Or duplicate? I mean, more Night Pack Amateurs is adorable. Never mind, you're, you're still up here. No Growth Spiral. I'm gonna drop the Brazen Borrower, because they don't have flyers. Great horn, because I don't see. I mean, it's like we have all these beautiful mutatos. I'll leave you because I love you. I'll drop heroic intervention because indestructibles for uh, people who survive combat, and Quandrix cultivator, and that's five. Hi, sorry that took so long. I have a lot of creatures. You must understand. You have a lot of creatures as well. Ah, the War Master, able to give even more death touch. These already get death touch. What's up, Frailies? How you doing? I will not shy away from savagery if it brings us victory. We already have a beast on the battlefield, so I won't get duplicates on the Sterex. This is a shame. Unless they kill my Gargaroth. Which they could do by swinging in with the soul of the harvest. Come on. Come at me. Is our oh wait, I have one in the graveyard. Two in the graveyard. Well, I'm out of ideas.
Hi, Vivian. Vivian will also get them more creatures. Hey, wait a minute. Ten loyalty. That's a Vorin Klex. I couldn't even tell it was so tiny. Oh, yeah, we're super dead. We're super hella dead. Oh, and also Monkey is here. Nice and good game. Bye, Volo. This is just a spite kill. This is just their way of saying, like, yeah, and I hate you in particular, Volo. I don't want to see you over here. Come on. Come at me, bro. Attack me! Attack me! You don't need another 12 mana. You don't need this. She's vigilant. Swing in. Nope, they they want their hoof. Hoof. There it is. All right, extra, extra, extra large, vigilant, trampling, indestructible, extra trample two from Crater Hoof Beam. It's swinging in and. I'm gonna guess negative 638. Let's see how close I am. It's way less than that, it's like 400. Four hundred and twenty-four. Okay. Good job, Fraley's. Are you ready, Gore the Wolf? Running a Heliod as their commander. It's gonna be Mono White Life Gain up against our handy dandy Mutate Clones. What do we got? Innkeepers? Prowlers? Let's do this. Get this Prosperous Innkeeper out for a turn three Volo. YOLO. Two white mana. Is it time for a Soul Sister, a Life Gain and Lady to come out on the battlefield? Maybe a Pride Mate? Maybe the Intrepid Adversary. Okay, not as interesting on an empty board, but still happy to see it. It's a lot scarier late game, but it does give them a source of lifelink. And I have a way to block it. Haha, -ha, it is I, the Prosperous Innkeeper. Hi, Heliod. Whoa, okay. Somebody's aggro. I block. I'm not using that guy. You think I have other halfling citizens in my deck? I do not. I I really don't. Okay, Cemetery Prowler. I'm gonna exile from their graveyard. Not mine, because I really don't have any other halflings or citizens in my deck. And that's gonna discount all my future creatures. And as will this. Perfect! Now I have a three mana Sterix. Though I want to cast it for four because I want to mutate. Ooh, this is going to be a nasty one, isn't it? Ah, and woo. Tithe taker. I'm being taxed. I'm being taxed. Was this white? It's not worth stealing. Okay. Allow me to... Clone. Into the clone zone. What do we get? Aw, a plant. What else did we get? Lands and oh, a uh, mimic. Uh, this is glass pool mimic specifically. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll go with the Sterix clone. Okay, something that needs me to name a color. Oh, it's Thriving Isle. And I guess I'll just attack in. What a good puppy trying to exile from my graveyard, keeping my creature types unique. And I'm just gonna hold up man. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot Tithe Taker takes Tithes. It's okay. They don't have a board wipe. Perfect. The outside of Life's Bounty gives them five devotion, which means Heliod is now a creature. A mighty, scary, terrifying creature. Reveal it. Yes, please. Oh, I'm going to steal their heraldic banner. Oh my gosh, is the kicker reduced too? All right, I want X equals three. I'm gonna go ahead and just go yoink. This is mine. It's fine. This is normal. Uh, swing in with everybody but the karyotide because that'd be weird. Haha, <laughs> what? Me have a heroic intervention? That's so weird. Who would do that? Let's have like enough mana to just replay Volo. YOLO.
Perfect work. Protect. Destroy. Eliminate their battlefield. We'll get a little 1-1 one -one flyer. Heliod will stop being a creature. And we'll get to chill. That was a very aggro play from me, but you know what? Eye for an eye. They were aggro at me. They attacked with that uh, intrepid adversary early on. Sometimes you just gotta slam jam. Ooh, so we get a slam jams. Hey there, Cave of the Frost Dragon. You, this is just you sassing me, isn't it? It's totally you sassing me. Well, I'm gonna sass you even more because this is my angel of invention. Aha ha. And I guess I'll take a mini 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 the spirit too. Play a land, reveal a land, and attack with everything. Goodbye, graveyards. Good puppies. You guys are so good. You're so good. I'm gonna pet the puppy. Pet, 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 pet. So good. Such a good puppy. My opponent's like, I, uh. Alright. Sure. Fine. Good game. Good game, Gore the Wolf. I've got three mana, a hope, and a dream. Actually, pretty nice, uh, pretty nice hand here. We're up against Emil, which is going to be Selesnia Blink and also Unicorns. I'm gonna go for the early ramp. Always want my Volos out early, especially when I'm on the play. Arcane Signet, they're ramping too. Abundant Harvest, revealing. Oh, nice. Beanstalk Giant. Everybody loves beans. I love beans. You love beans. Everybody loves beans. Wall of Blossoms. We'll get them some nice card draw. There's a land. And, uh, I guess Volo is a coward. Correct. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, sure. Fine. Guess I'll have to wait until Volo dies to do any cloning today. Not that I mind that all too much. Hmm. this ramp ramp is eternal ramp is beautiful they're making beans just as i did just as we all shall huh oh um I feel like this will work hold up what if you weren't volo what if i was volo Genius! Ha ha ha! I guess I'll just chill. And, uh, dog. Thank you, Glasspool Mimic. You're my friend. Two wolves, two wolves, two wolves, two wolves. I'll just do this now. I like this poor bear is just looking for lands while this happens. Like, wait, what? Um, and I can do this for... One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six. Two voracious hydras. One which enjoys fighting. And one which just wants to be a dummy thick. Perfect. And swinging with everything. They didn't even go for the free block on Volo. Great. Oh, well, the Skyclaves? Their, um, Wall of Blossoms is very feisty. But that is game. GG, Gatsby Kick. And it looks like our next opponent is running Dinosaurs, or maybe just Landfall. Hard to tell, it's a comma, Primal Calamity. How do you do, you big scary dinobinoid? So this is often uh, actually a kind of control-ish build for Zakama, because you want to get tons and tons and tons of mana out and then destroy everything on the board. Everything that's not Zakama, because hey, Zakama's just doing fine on her own. Get ready for some Dano Might! And I'm gonna get ready for Volo. Please don't kill Volo. They're probably gonna be able to kill Volo, but fingers crossed! He stays alive! And then we can Cavalier of Gales! Explore. Oh, Explore isn't killing Volo. It's just ramp. Oh, never mind. He's dead. 
Lola lives a short, unfulfilling life. Time to brainstorm. Cavalier of Gales has hit the battlefield. Let's take a peek at what appears to be mostly lands. Alright, I'm gonna toss back a land in the Gnar. Gnar Gnar! Uh, I can draw the Gnar, shuffle back the land, uh, and I'm planning to either Henge, Cultivate next turn, or maybe Mimic if they play something worth copying. Uh, I don't think I need to copy my own Cavalier of Gales. Okay, they're already up to six mana. Make that seven mana! Okie dokie. Um... Right hand. Uh -huh. Mimic or Cultivate? Uh, let's go Mimic! The more Cavalier! And passing Shore Shark sounds actually really good against Akama! I mean, it's not that good because if they cast it from uh, anywhere, it doesn't tap everything. But if they use any temporary ramp, that's fine. Um, take the Gnar. We can shuffle it next turn with a Fabled Passage. That's fine. Cool. The old Brainstorm and a Fetch. Else with Conquered's Death, gonna hit my Great Henge. No drawing allowed. But lots and lots of damage allowed. Ludzy damage, perhaps? Um... I don't even think that's worth it. No, I'm just going to uh, mutate onto this, add some more power onto the battlefield, and swing in. I think this is my best bet. Is, uh, honestly just racing the Zakama. Getting that damage. Have the potential to bounce something. Yasharn, I'm not sacrificing anything anyway. That gets them two more lands into their hand. But they're not playing Zakama. Elder Gargaroth. It has reach, so it can block one of these. It could gain three life, but it can't do crap if it's not on the battlefield. So let's say, see you later, Elder Gargaroth. This is our victory. Let's go. Beat the Rampoid. Volo might have died, but we came out victorious. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to watch it being recorded live, you can do so at twitch.tv slash Amazonian. Also, there's an entire series of Brawl Stars. So if you love Brawl, you should check out my other decks. Maybe watch the original Volo video I made. Maybe not. It's not as good. So I hope you have a wonderful time and Happy New Year's to all of you. Goodbye.